In a dimly lit back room, you come to terms with your powerlessness. Held captive by the Gestapo in a remote concentration camp, your fate lies in their merciless hands. They demand everything you know, your handlers, the duration and location of your deployment, your code names, and most crucially, your knowledge of the Nazi war machine. The Gestapo, known for their sadistic methods, will inflict unspeakable pain to break you. Many female spies in World War II faced such perils, but their achievements are part of why the world is now a freer and safer place. Welcome to History Insight, where we delve into the harrowing torture of female spies by the Nazis during World War II. During World War II, female spies played a critical role in intelligence and espionage operations for both the Allies and the Axis. They possessed a unique set of skills that allowed them to blend in and use charm and feminine wiles to their advantage. Often working in pairs or groups, they developed secret signals and code names for communication among themselves and with their handlers. Despite the dangerous nature of their work and the societal pressure placed upon them, these brave women risked their lives in service to their countries. The significance of their contributions was immense, but it also threatened traditional gender roles and norms. Their involvement in the male-dominated world of war was seen as a challenge to the status quo, and they faced unique risks as female field operatives. The specific duties of a female spy during World War II were diverse and multifaceted, largely depending on the country they worked for and the unique nature of their mission. In general, their work focused on the critical task of reconnaissance, gathering vital intelligence on enemy strategies, troop movements, and weaponry. This information was then skillfully relayed back to their handlers, often through complex coded messages or discrete secret signals designed to evade detection. On the ground, female spies frequently assumed unassuming civilian or service professional roles, such as seamstresses, maids, nurses, or clerks. By blending into these everyday occupations, they were able to gain access to valuable information, sometimes even in the heart of enemy territory. By engaging in casual conversations with targeted individuals, they could inconspicuously glean sensitive details that would prove invaluable to their mission. The work of these female spies was incredibly dangerous, as they faced the constant threat of capture, torture, and even execution. Operating behind enemy lines, they had to maintain a facade of normalcy, even under the most stressful and precarious circumstances. Many of these courageous women faced additional challenges due to discrimination and harassment in a male-dominated field as they navigated the complex web of wartime espionage. Despite these obstacles, female spies embraced their duties with an unwavering sense of patriotism and a deep desire to contribute to the war effort in a meaningful way. They put their lives on the line, demonstrating resourcefulness, ingenuity, and determination that often proved instrumental in turning the tide of the conflict. In addition to their vital intelligence-gathering roles, female spies also played a critical part in sabotaging enemy infrastructure, organizing resistance networks, and facilitating the escape of prisoners of war. Through their resilience and dedication, they helped to shape the outcome of World War II, leaving a lasting legacy that serves as a testament to their bravery and commitment. Many female spies became famous after the war, their stories inspiring generations to come. Some of these remarkable women include Noor Inaya Khan, Virginia Hall, Christina Scarbeck, and Josephine Baker. Each of them served in various capacities, such as wireless operators, intelligence network builders, and couriers. Noor Inayat Khan, a British agent stationed in France, worked as a wireless operator for the SO short for Special Operations Executive. She transmitted vital intelligence back to London from occupied France, using the codename Madeleine. Tragically, Khan was betrayed, captured, and executed by the Germans at Dachau concentration camp. She was posthumously awarded the George Cross, Britain's highest civilian honor for gallantry. Virginia Hall, an American spy also working for the SO in occupied France, established a vast intelligence network for the French resistance. Despite losing a leg in a hunting accident, she used her disability to her advantage, adopting the guise of an elderly peasant woman. 
Hall's efforts were instrumental in the success of the Allied invasion of Normandy. Christina Skarbek, a Polish spy, operated for the SO in France and her native Poland. Her efforts were key in establishing an intelligence network in Poland and later working as a courier for the French resistance. She survived the war and became a British subject in 1946. Josephine Baker, an iconic last entertainer, was the first black woman to star in a major motion picture before the war in 1927. Known as the Creole Goddess and the Black Venus, she used her fame to aid the French resistance. Baker traveled across neutral European countries, secretly transmitting intelligence and information back to the Allies. She was awarded the Croix de Guerre by the French military for her unique and invaluable contributions. Capture was undeniably the worst fate a female spy could face during World War II, as the consequences were often brutal, painful, and life-threatening. Female spies received similar treatment to their male counterparts when captured, with imprisonment, torture, and execution all being possible outcomes. Although Allied forces generally offered better treatment to captured spies than the Axis powers, conditions were far from comfortable and the future uncertain. Female spies working for the Allies faced an especially grim fate if they were captured by the Gestapo, the German secret police. The Gestapo were notorious for their callous and heartless treatment of female spies, employing a variety of cruel physical and psychological torture methods in an attempt to extract valuable information. These methods ranged from severe beatings and sensory deprivation to forced labor and exposure to extreme temperatures. One of the most famous cases of a captured Allied spy was Noor Inayat Khan, a British Indian agent of the Special Operations Executive. Betrayed by a French collaborator, Khan was captured and subsequently subjected to relentless torture by the Gestapo in several prisons. Ultimately, she was taken to the Dachau concentration camp in 1944. Despite the brutal treatment she endured, Khan displayed extraordinary resilience and courage, refusing to divulge any information to her captors. Other captured SO agents, such as Odette Sansom and Violet Sabo, also endured unimaginable torture and suffering in concentration camps. While Sansom miraculously survived her ordeal and lived to share her harrowing story, Sabo met a tragic end when she was executed at the Ravensbrück concentration camp. The intelligence gathered by spies, including many women, had a profound impact on the overall success of World War II. Some notable examples include Operation Overlord, the development of the V-1 and V-2 rockets, and the invasion of Italy. The success of Operation Overlord, the Allied invasion of Normandy, was heavily reliant on intelligence collected by spies, many of whom worked for the Sewi female spies played a crucial role in ensuring the operation's success, which ultimately turned the tide of the war in favor of the Allies. The V-1 and V-2 rocket programs were significant technological advancements for Germany during the war. Polish spy Christina Skarbek gathered vital information about these programs, enabling the Allies to conduct bombing raids and sabotage operations against the factories producing the rockets. The invasion of Italy one of the last major theaters of war, was also influenced by the efforts of female spies. British spy Noor Inayat Khan's critical transmissions played a vital role in the successful invasion of Sicily, which paved the way for the Allies' advance through Italy. These quiet, anonymous heroes worked tirelessly behind the scenes, often without recognition or praise. Their bravery, dedication, and sacrifice contributed significantly to the outcome of World War II. We owe them a debt of gratitude that can never truly be repaid. Thank you for joining us on this episode of History Insight. We hope you have gained a deeper understanding of the sacrifices made by female spies during World War II and the impact their work had on the outcome of the war. Stay tuned for more fascinating stories from history in our next episode.